His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 19, restructuring the Board of Directors of the National Oil and Gas Authority under the chairmanship of the Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein Ali Mirza, with the membership of the following Rashid Mohammed Miraj, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Sheikh Tariq bin Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Dr. Fayez Hashim Abdul Latif Al Sada, Yusuf Abdullah Hamoud, and Yusuf Abdul Hussein Khalaf. The membership will be for three renewable years. His Majesty the King also issued Decree No. 20, amended the provisions of Decree No. 70 for 2012 on reorganising the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. His Majesty the King issued Decree No. 21, appointing Mohammed Ali Abul as Chief Executive Officer of the Future Generations Reserve Fund at the Ministry of Finance. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa also ratified and issued Law 4 for this year, approving the Air Services Agreement signed between Bahrain and Pakistan in Islamabad in, on March the 18th, 2014. The law counsels the provisions of Decree Law No. 4 of 1980, approving the Bahraini Pakistani Air Services Agreement. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Saudi Defence Minister, Chief of the Royal Court and Special Advisor of the Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and his accompanying delegation as part of their current visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mukrin bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, as well as their wishes for Bahrain and its people of further progress and prosperity. Meanwhile, His Majesty the King asked His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Crown Prince wishing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people further development and progress. His Majesty hailed the solid historic relations between the two kingdoms, as well as the constant development of joint cooperation aimed at achieving the best interests of both sides. His Majesty praised the leading historic role and honourable stances of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, in consolidating the progress of GCC states' joint action to achieve their people's best interests and to support Arab and Islamic issues. His Majesty the King discussed with His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman recent regional and international developments and mutual cooperation and coordination regarding the current situation in Yemen. They also discussed the progress of the Operation Decisive Storm at both military and humanitarian levels. The two sides hailed the vital participation of Bahrain in Operation Decisive Storm and its continued success, taking into consideration the humanitarian aspects, protecting civilians, providing aid and evacuating foreigners in cooperation with the relevant international organisations. They stressed that the aim of Decisive Storm was to maintain Yemen's stability and development, paving the way toward joint dialogue in which all parties of the country would participate. His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honour of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa and a number of senior BDF officers welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud upon his arrival and bade him farewell as he departed.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today a delegation from the National Assembly, led by the first deputy speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, Ali Al Aradi and Jamal Fakru. His Royal Highness stressed that the coalition of Saudi Arabia and brotherly countries within Operation Decisive Storm to support legitimacy in Yemen served noble goals based on defending right and justice and adherence to legitimacy. His Royal Highness pointed out that the stability and security of GCC countries and the advanced standard of living enjoyed by their citizens, thanks to the efforts of their governments, have displeased some sides, which, as a result, are trying to undermine GCC security and stability and to impede GCC achievements by interfering in their domestic affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Saudi-led coalition of the good had been launched to put an end to such interference and to expose the ambitions of foreign sides harbouring evil and ill intentions against GCC countries. He stressed that Operation Decisive Storm had created a new Arab stance and resolve against interference in Arab affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed great confidence in the House of the People and MPs pledging that the government's hands are extended to cooperation with the legislative body in the best interests of the nation and its people and in order to optimise landmark achievements that enhance the kingdom's leading status in various fields. His Royal Highness voiced pride in the election of Bahraini MPs and Shura members to the International Parliamentary Union, which represents a vote of confidence in Bahrain's parliamentary and democratic achievements. His Royal Highness reviewed with the audience a number of GCC issues and called for the development of GCC industries in order to achieve self-sufficiency. His Royal Highness also explained that each GCC country should focus on its special food products and industries, saying it was vital to create a mechanism to ensure that the GCC states complement each other in this regard in view of regional developments and their aftermath.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudabir Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Cabinet welcomed the Kingdom's hosting of this year's 2015 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix that will take place from April the 17th to the 19th and which is considered one of the most important international events held within the Kingdom. In this regard, the Cabinet praised the efforts of ministries in preparing for this international event, highlighting the collaborative efforts to ensure its success, which will have a positive economic and cultural impact on the country, especially in the economic and investment spheres. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince briefed the Cabinet on his visit to Saudi Arabia's eastern province, where he held discussions with the Governor of the eastern province, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of monitoring services provided to citizens, especially in the field of housing, and noted the need to provide the necessary spaces for car parking. His Royal Highness directed the concerned government institutions to follow up on the new health centre to be constructed in Rafah. He said that the new health centre would provide healthcare services in line with the government's keenness to meet the needs of citizens across the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of following up on government projects in order to provide citizens with the best services and affirmed the importance of continued cooperation with members of the legislative authority in the interests of both the homeland and its citizens. The Minister of Information Affairs, Issa Al Hamadi, later held a press conference and outlined the issues discussed during the Cabinet meeting. The Minister said the Cabinet approved the establishment of a school, sports centre, commercial complex and market in the centre of Hamid Town, and the relevant authorities were instructed to take the necessary steps to reserve and allocate land to initiate the project. The Minister said the Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding the provision of guarantees during the IPO process of the company that operates Khalifa bin Salman Port AMP Terminals. The Cabinet decided to send a letter of guarantee to the company in accordance with its organisational articles. The Cabinet also reviewed a report detailing the operational statistics of Khalifa bin Salman Port for the year 2014. According to the report, to the report, the port witnessed a 16% increase in the number of commercial ships arriving in the kingdom, comprising 1,254 vessels, of which 808 were commercial ships and 25 tourist cruise ships. Similarly, the Khalifa bin Salman Port Performance Index increased to 916.818 tonnes. The Minister said that the Cabinet reviewed a signed agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons and decided to refer it to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs for further studies. Mr Al Hamadi said the Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding an application submitted by the Society of Petroleum Engineers to open an office in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Society of Petroleum Engineers is considered one of the largest professional associations working in the field of energy and oil. The Minister added that the Cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding regulation of the postal law, which includes 116 regulations for the mailing and clearance of postal items. It also included the identification of services that could be granted to the private sector. The Cabinet decided to refer this memorandum to both the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs and the Ministerial Committee for Social Services and Media Affairs for further review. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. The Central Bank of Bahrain CBB in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women, the, they launched yesterday the official logo for the Bahraini Women's Day 2015. The logo has been circulated to all financial and banking institutions licensed by the CBB as the industry launches a series of events promoting the role of women in the sector. This includes the series of roundtables and mentoring programs leading up uh, to a main conference on women and banking and finance that's going to happen on the November 30th, just ahead of the annual Bahraini Women's Day is going to happen on December 1st. 
The Bahrain Oil Shares Index closed the day at 1,440.88 points, an increase of 0.24 points above yesterday's closing. This increase was due to the raise in the industrial sector, and investors traded mainly in the services sector, representing 60% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 49 transactions took place with a volume of 756,428 shares, worth a total value of 185,684 Bahraini dinars.